solve a lot of questions, general vision on unit five. Question number one, complete. Number one, we have here 123 multiplication by 100. We can find the result here by move the point to left hand side by two digits. So the result will be 1 and 2300. Why we do it? Because 123 multiplication by 100, it's meaning 1 over 100. And 123 multiplication by 1 over 100, it's meaning divided by 100. Then you must put the point after two digits. The results will be 1 and 2300. Okay, so the result will be 1 and 2300. But look at this example 123 multiplication by 100. You can find the result by put double zero behind this number 123 and write double zero behind it. Okay, question number two the product of 100. And five tenths multiplication by two by two. We can find the result here by write this number over one hundred or ten divided by ten because the point here after one digit multiplication by twenty two over ten. Then the result will be what one hundred in the numerator and in the numerator. 1225 multiplication by 22 we can find the result here and then put the result up and divide it by 100 or you can find multiplication by two numbers and the point after two digits why because the point here after one digit and here this number after one digit then 2 times 5 equal 10 write 0 and carry up 1 2 times 2 equal 4 plus 1 equal 5 2 times 2 equal 4 2 times 1 equal 2 plus and write 0 2 times 5 equal 10 0 and the carry of 1 2 times 2 equal 4 plus 1 equal 5 2 times 2 equal 4 2 times 1 equal 2 and then we can eat them 0 5 5 plus 4 equal 9 4 plus 2 equal 6 and then write 2 here then 2 6 9 5 0 we can cancel 0 by 0 here and the result we can write the whole number here and the point after one digit so the result will be 269 and 5 tenths okay it was question number two okay question number three okay look at with me about question number three here we have 0 0.2 multiplication by 0 0.3 we can find the result 2 times 6 2 times 3 equals 6 and the point here after one digit and one digit will be two digits the result will be 6 tenths or we can write 2 over 10 multiplication by 3 over 10 then 2 times 3 equals 6 and 10 times 10 equals 100 6 over 100 it's meaning 6 divided by 100 it will be 6 Hundredth, the point will be after two digits. Question number four. Space multiplication by zero point zero one equal five and three hundred twenty four thousandths. You can find this result by divided this number five and three hundred twenty four thousandths divided by zero point zero and one. You can move the point here by right hand side by two digits because the point here after two digits. So the result will be five, three, two, point, and four. You moved the point here to right hand side by two digits. So the result here will be 532 and four tenths. Right, 532 and four tenths. 532 and 4 tenses understood okay 532 and 4 tenses 
question number four. Okay, it was question number four. Look at next question with me. Question number five. Four point two multiplication by five point six equals base. We can write forty two multiplication by fifty six. Two times six equal twelve. Two and the carry up one. Two four times six equal twenty four. Twenty four plus one equal twenty five. Write zero and two times five equal ten. Zero and the carry up one. Four times five equal twenty. Twenty plus one equal twenty one. 2 plus 0 equal 2, 5 plus 0 equal 5, 2 plus 1 equal 3, and then write 2. Then the result will be 2, 3, 5, and 2, and the point here after two digits. The result will be 23 and 52 hundredths. Okay. Question. The result will be 23 and 52 hundredths about question number 5. Okay. Now we will solve equation number 6, 5.4, multiplication by 1200. The result here will be put the point after 3 digits, because it will, will be 54 over 10 and here 12 over 100. And then we can find the result here. 54 multiplication by 12 2 times 4 equal 8 and 2 times 5 equal 10 and then plus 0 1 times 4 equal 4 1 times 5 equal 5 then we can add them here 8 plus 4 8 plus 0 equal 8 0 plus 4 equal 4 5 plus 1 equal 6 then the result will be here 648 over 1000 the point here will be after three digits so the result will be 648,000. Question number 7. Those question number 6, okay, or 7. It was question 7, okay, it was 7. And question 6, we have 25 multiplication by 1 things. Then the result will be 2.5. Put the point after one digit. Okay, and this question number seven, the result here. Okay, and uh, look at with me about the next question here. Question number eight 250 milliliter. Two liter. We must divide it by 1000. To convert from liter to milliliter, you must divide it by 1000. Okay, then the result will be what? 250,000. Look at here the steps. 250 divided by 1000. We can cancel 0 by 0 and here will be 2500. Because the point will be after two digits. Because it will be 25 over 100. Okay, question, next question, question number nine. Okay, look at with me about question number nine here. Seven hundred gram to kilogram. We convert here from gram to kilogram by divided by 1000 because 1 kilogram equal 1000 gram divided by 1000 cancel double zero by double zero in the result here 7 divided by 10 it will be 7 tenths okay my students it's clear for with you okay question number 10 39 days approximately two weeks Okay, we know one week equals seven days. So we can divide it by seven. 39 divided by seven. Convert it number from fraction to mixed number. It's on We can write seven in denominator. 
and 7 times 5 equal 35 and remainder 4 and then we can approximate it to the next week half of one week equal 3 days and half 3, three and a half days 3 and a half day okay 3 and a half day so 4 is greater than half of 7 then the result will be 6 will be 6 week because 4 days greater than the half of 1 week 4 days greater than half of 1 week we know 1 week equals 7 days then 7 and 4 over 7 it's nearest to 6 week so 39 days approximating to the nearest weeks it will be 6 understood question number 11 513 and 2 tenths divided by 1 hundredth. We must move the point right hand side by 2 digits. It will be 513. We can move the point here from this place to right hand side by 2 digits 1 and 2. So this result. It will be 50,000, 51,320. Question 12. 12.7 divided by 0 by 0 1. We can find the result here by move the point to left hand side or right hand side. It's a division by 100. Like this number, you must move the point right hand side by two digits. Raise this number and then move the point from this place to right hand side 1 and 2. Then the result will be 1270. Okay. Question 13 36 centimeter it will be what meter we must convert from centimeter to meter divided by 100 36 divided by 100 we must put the point after two digits by left hand side it will be 36 hundredth question 14 we have here 89 and 36 hundredth divided by 100 equal this number again okay this number again it 89 and 36 hundredth multiplication by what multiplication by one hundredth because we convert here from division to multiplication and write the inverse about this number it will be 100 this number 89 and 36 hundredth multiplication by one over 100 it's meaning 89 Point thirty-six multiplication by one hundred is okay understood question next question here question 15 question 15 okay my students pay attention with me about question 15 we have here 720 grams convert to kilogram you must divide it by 1000 we can cancel 0 by 0 and 71 divided by 100 it will be 71 hundredth 71 hundredth question 16 the cushion of 6.6 6 6.66 6 divided by 6 you won't find the cushion here 6 divided by 6 equal 1 and 6 divided by 6 equal 1, 6 divided by 6 equal 1, this is a question here, 1 and 11 hundredths. Question 17, 8.8 8 divided by 3.2 equal space division by space. Okay, he won't find here, we must cancel the point in the dividend. The dividend must be converted from decimal number to what? To, uh, to the whole number here will be 88 by multiplication by 10 left hand side and right hand side here or we can write here 8.8 .8 over 3.2 we can multiplication by 10 numerator and numerator to cancel the point then it will be 88 over what over here 32 88 divided by what 32 equal space here you won't find the result about 88 divided by 32 
Then you can find the result by using long division 88 divided by 32. Write 88 here and 32 here. And then ask yourself 8 divided by 32. We can't do it because it's less than 32. But 0 and 88 divided by 32 equal what? We can write 2 here because 2 times 2 equal 4 and 2 times 3 equal 6. And then we can find the difference between them. 8 minus 4 equal 4 and 8 minus 6 equal 2. And then both point and 0. Put point outside here and then drop the next digit here 0 to 140 divided by 32. Thinking about the digit, the digit will be what? 7. Because 32 times 7 equal what? Right here. We can clear one digit by one digit. To find the result, clear one digit by one digit. And 24 divided by 3, the nearest number will be 7. Because 3 times 8 equal 24. But 32 times 8, it will be the result greater than 240. So you must find the result by the last number. We'll subtract one from eight, it will be seven. And two times seven equal fourteen, right? Four and the care of one. Three times seven equal twenty-one plus one equal twenty-two. Then two hundred twenty-four it less than two hundred forty. You can write seven outside here and two hundred twenty-four down in this number and find the difference between two numbers here. And then zero minus four, we can do it to one from four, four would be three. And here 10, 10 minus 4 equals 6, and 3 minus 2 equals 1, and then put 0 again. 160 divided by 32 equals 5, because 5 times 32 equals 160. Okay, then the question here will be what? Will be 2, okay, we have here 3.2, and the result again, this number, 88, sorry, 88 divided by 32. Okay, my students, understood? So he want to find the cushion. The cushion will be what? Two and seventy-five hundredth. The cushion here, two and seventy-five hundredth. It's a very important cushion seventeen. Cushion number eighteen. Two point one divided by zero point seven call what? In this example, we must multiplication by 10, numerator and denominator. It will be 21 over 7. 21 divided by 7 equal 3. Question 19. The quotient of 84 and 24 hundredths is divided by 2. We want to find the quotient. The quotient, we can find the result by dividing the left-hand side. 8 divided by 2 equal 4. And 4 divided by 2 equal 2. 2 divided by 2 equal 1. And 4 divided by 2 equal 2. The question here will be 42 and 12 hundredths. Question 20. 2,000 gram equals piece kilogram. We can divide it by 1,000. Convert it from gram to kilogram. Divided by 1,000. That will be 2 kilogram. Next question. Show is the correct answer. Number 1. Here, 100 times 5.2. We must move the point right hand side by two digits. So the result here will be what? 520. Convert from this number here from decimal to one number by move the point right hand side. It will be 5 and 2. Zero. The result will be 520. Okay. Question number 2. 56 and five tenths times one over ten we can find the result here by move the point left hand side because it's meaning 76.5 divided by 10 you can move the point left hand side by one digit to be 7.6 and 5 okay question 3 three hundredth multiplication by 3 we have here three hundredth it's meaning 0 0.03 Multiplication by 3, 3 times 3 equals 9, 3 times 0 equals 0, 3 times 0 equals 0, so the result will be 9 hundredths, 9 hundredths. Next question, okay my students, pay attention about next question with me here, question number 4. We have 0 0.3 multiplication by 5. 3 times 5 equal 15 and the point after one digit. Question 5. 
7 and 14 multiplication by 1 tenth you must move the point to left hand side it will be 7 1 4 and write the point after three digits will be 714 thousand question 6 8 and 43 hundredth multiplication by 2 tenths we won't find the result to approximating to the nearest what to the nearest hundredth we can find the result by multiplication two numbers okay to the nearest hundredth then we know 843 multiplication by 2 and the result here after one digit and two digits so the point will be after three digits look at here 2 times 3 equals 6 2 times 4 equals 8 2 times 8 equals 16 the point after three digits so the result will be 1686 six, and the point after three digits here and then you can approximate this number to the nearest hundredth six to give one or not six can give one because six greater than five any digit greater than or equal to five can give one the digit behind it six can give one to the digits to left hand side then the result will be one point six and nine the result will be one and sixty nine hundredths okay next question now we will solve question number seven Okay, my students. 300 gram convert to kilogram divided by 1000. We can cancel double zero by double zero. So you divide it by 10, it will be 3 tenths. Question 8 3.6 divided by 0 0.04. We can write 3.6 in the numerator and 0 0.04 in the numerator. We must cancel the point in the numerator because the dividend here decimal and divisor decimal. So we must convert from this number to whole numbers by multiplication by 100. Why? Because the divisor must be write in the whole number don't write in the decimal write this number without point we can cancel the point by multiplication 100 it will be 360 and here 40 and then 36 divided by 4 equal 9 and then write 0 then the result will be 90 here about question number 8 question number 9 space multiplication by 0 0.01 equal 4 and 1200 we can find this result by division multiple two numbers here divide it the result here by 0 0.01 we can find the result by first step here we can move the point to what to right hand side by two digit because it's meaning multiplication by 100 4.12 divided by 100 is it's meaning multiplication this number multiplication by 100 then you must move the point right hand side it will be 412 412 about question number 9 question number 10 number 10 okay my students be attention about me about question number 10 0 0.6 multiplication by 0 0.5 equal space we know 5 times 6 equals 30 and the point after two digits because it will be 6 over 10 and this number 5 over 10 and 5 times 6 equals 30 and 10 times 10 equals 100 you can cancel 0 by 0 then the result will be 3 tenths question 11 4.1 multiplication by 1.1 here we can find the result by using a long multiplication between 41 and 11 and the point will be after two digits because the point here after one digit and here after one digit then the result will be 41 multiplication by 11 1 times 41 equal 41 and write 0 1 times 41 equal 41 1 plus 0 equal 1 4 plus 1 equal 5 and then write 4 it will be 451 and the point after two digits here so the result will be 4 and 51 hundredth next question number 
three and twenty five hundred fifth multiplication by one ten fifth it will be equal what we must move the point to right hand side because it's meaning three and twenty five hundred fifth divided by ten you must move the point to right hand side or left hand side left hand side okay it will be what right here three two five and write the point will be three and twenty five hundred is understood you must move the point to left hand side by one digit next question 13 we have 95 milliliter millimeters okay millimeter to centimeter we can find the result by divided by 10 because one centimeter equal 10 millimeter okay look at your hand here to find steps we have here kilometer meter decimeter centimeter millimeter convert from centimeter to millimeter multiplication by 10 and convert from millimeter to centimeter divided by 10 then we must put the point after one digit the result will be 9 and 5 10 fifth which are 14 10 and 850 gram convert to kilogram we can convert from gram to kilogram by divided by 1000 this number here okay my son is divided by 1000 we can move the point to left hand side by three digits right one zero eight seven and zero and then move the point to left hand side by three digits one two three point point and then we can cancel zero here the result shows what from gram to kilogram we can move the point to left hand side by three digits so the result will be here and then look at the question number 14 10 and 870 gram convert to kilogram divided by 1000 this point here okay question 14 14 okay this is uh, not point okay my students it's comma okay it's a comma again okay my students not clear in this uh, book okay this point again this example i will clear it question uh, 14 it's a comma okay so we can read it 10,000 10,000 10,870 gram to kilogram divided by 1,000 we can put my spot the point after three digits here right the point after three digits one two three right the point here and we must cancel zero here to right hand side okay then it will be 10 and 87 hundredths because it's a comma okay not point okay my students okay question 15 look at with me about question 15 my students it's very easy for you Okay, we have four and twenty-five hundred fifth, or two two point two divided by one ten fifth. This number divided by one ten fifth means move the point right hand side by two digit. Move the point here, it would be twenty-two, and this number less than this number, and then question sixteen. Twenty-three divided by one ten fifth. You need to move the point right hand side by one digit because it's minute 23 multiplication by 10 it will be 230 okay next question question 17 0 0.35 divided by 5 tenses first we must cancel the point here in the divisor the divisor must write without point write the whole number here okay what we will do we will multiplication by 10 here it will be 3.5 and here 5 35 divided by 5 equals 7 and the point after one digit the result here will be 7 tenses okay 
will be what? 7 tenses. Question 18. The quotient of 2.4 divided by 0 0.4. First, we must cancel the point here. Multiplication by 10 numerator and numerator. Okay. It will be what? 24 over 4. It will be equal 6. The result here will be equal 6. Okay, my students, it's very easy for you. Question 19. 0 0.4 times 0 0.6. We know 4 over 10, and this number 6 over 10. And then 100 in the numerator, and 4 times 6 equal 24. Then the result will be 2400. 2400. Question 20. In this example, you want to find the result. We have 58 and 675 times by 10 hundredths. It's meaning divided by 10. 100 divided by 100. Okay. So we must move the point to left hand side by two digits. By 5, 8, and point in 0. And then six, seven, and five. Here we move the point to left hand side by two digits. Answer the following question. Five, 